Hey guys, welcome back to Nisha's Corner. So today I'll be making some yuca with some pickled vegetables to go on top. Um, the vegetables I'm using is just some peppers, some habanero peppers, and some onions. It's just going to be a quick little pickle. Like, this is not like, you know, something extra. <laughs> but I do have pickled recipes on my channel, and you can definitely check those out. So yeah, let's get started. Now I'm going to work on the pickling for the vegetables. I sliced up my onion, the sweet bread bell pepper, and I used only one habanero. I took all the seeds out and chopped it up. And in my pot here, I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of sugar, some thyme, some cumin seeds. <laughs> That's about an eighth um, teaspoon of cumin seeds, some salt, that salt is to taste. So, and some black pepper corn, corns. Maybe 10 of those. And now I'm using white wine vinegar. You can use the vinegar you have on hand. For this recipe, I don't think it really matters. Um, I've never had it with red wine vinegar, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter. So yeah, use what you have. And I'm just gonna put my vinegar all down in here. Now, why did not take this top off? <laughs> I'm gonna take this top off, pour my vinegar in here, and I'll be right back. And I'm back. So now I'm just going to put this on the stove, bring it to a boil, and mix it so that the sugar can dissolve. And then we're just gonna pour it over the vegetables and cover it and let it sit for about an hour or so or until the yuca is finished cooking, which we're about to work on right now. Yeah, so I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so I boiled my pickling liquid for about five minutes. Now I'm just gonna pour it right over the vegetables, everything. And you're gonna let this sit for about an hour, maybe two. I would suggest longer if you have the time, but mine is probably just gonna sit for maybe an hour or two until the yuca is done cooking. And then I'm definitely going to use it. Just make sure you cover it with a lid, top, whatever, and let it sit. And then we're gonna move on to roasting the yuca. So far on my yuca, I peeled it, chopped it up. I chopped it into sticks, but you can chop it however you want to chop your yuca. So far I have on here uh, is um, lots of fresh thyme and black pepper. I'm keeping it simple. And then I'm going to add some oil. You can use butter, olive oil, coconut oil, some garlic powder, and some salt. The reason why you don't want to kill this with lots and lots of seasoning is because your pickling vegetables will be very strong. So you don't want to cancel that out after you just worked on it. So yeah, you're going to mix this up really well. Put it into a 400 degree oven until brown around the edges and it's cooked through. This is what the roasted yuca looks like. All I did was I put it in my plate. I put some tomatoes around the sides because that's how I like to eat it. It's a perfect side dish for chicken and fish and whatever you want to eat it with. Um, yeah, and then I put some scallions on top along with the pickled onions and peppers. As you can see, they are bright in color and nice and fresh. It's super delicious. I hope you guys give it a try. And if you do, please be sure to tag me and let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys next time on my next video. Okay, guys. Bye.